Alright, um, so bunker play. It's not very not very easy for it's, it's actually very scary for somebody who doesn't know how to hit the shot right. Now a lot a lot of tour players will um, they'll sometimes prefer to be in the bunker because they know how to hit the shot. And my goal here is to try and make you feel comfortable with how to hit that shot. Um, a lot of you know a lot of the time players have, have trouble with the, with the thought of accelerating through a shot with the bunker play. It's important to do that. It's important to stay steep on the ball. It's important to have an idea of where you want to land the ball too when it's, when it's, when it's after you hit the shot. So I have a drill here that what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you guys work on it. But Trey especially because I'm going to talk to you specifically and I'm going to show you in, in, a, in a later segment here of, of how to hit the shot. But what I'm going to do I am going to draw a circle around the golf ball, and this is going to represent where I want my club to hit the ball and how much sand I want to take out of the shot. First off, it's important to, to know that when you're hitting a bunker shot, your club face needs to be sold, but you can't touch the sand, right? That's the rule. You, you cannot touch the sand. It's, it's uh, the rules. So people, when people are hitting the shot, they'll, they'll do this, and they'll be like, okay, well, I'll touch the sand. It's a penalty. So, Obviously, being intermediate golfers, you don't know. I mean, you know that already, but you just want to keep that in mind. So when I say sole the club, I don't mean actually sole it on the sand. I mean sole it above the club. So that way you can, you can see it over, over your eye. First thing you want to think about is having a triangle, triangle with your arms. Your hands are just like they would hit a normal shot, but there's not going to be any forward press or any backwards leg. It's going to be a triangle the whole way. Your, your body position, if I'm going to that flag back there, I want my club face to be pointed at that sole, at that club, at the play, and I want my body to be open. So my body's going to be pointing off at this big hole here in the background, but my club face is actually going to be pointed at that flag. So it's going to be sold at that flag, and I'm going to draw a circle. It's okay for the purpose of this demonstration to touch the sand because this is just practice. So I have right here uh, a circle that's drawn in the sand, and I will show you this with Trey later. I'm just, my idea with this is to just take the sand that's only in the circle, not behind it, not after it, not besides it. I only want to take the sand that's around it. And keep the eyes on the ball, obviously it's important. So I'll hit a, I'll hit a practice shot for you just to show you what a, what a proper bunker shot should look like. And remember, you want to keep the club steep on a steeper angle than you would on any other shot because you're going to drop it in and you're always going to want to accelerate through it. Ooh, that was that. good. That was yeah, nice. so in general, if you can get the ball out of the sand and be confident on the greens, then you won't have you won't you won't panic when you're in it anymore. And that's that's the idea. You, you don't want to panic while you're hitting the shot. Alright. Any questions? Nope. Alright.